through. So here, if you've been watching late night television recently, you may have noticed that the latest entrant into the field, Stephen Colbert, was wearing something around his wrist the other night. It was a black wristband. There it is right there. You can't see it in this shot, but that is, in fact, a Black Lives Matter wristband. Apparently, his, his fans on social media, some of them, have been asking him to wear it, and so he decided to do it. Well, Stephen Colbert has a long history of doing this, so people have come up to him for years. If you're watching him on Comedy Central, he'd have, like, a, an arm full of different wristbands, and people kind of know that that's his thing. So, Patrick Waldo is a Black Lives Matter activist, and he ran into him, I guess, and he asked him if he would wear it. So, he said, and he said, quote this, I told him I've been involved in the Black Lives Lives Matter movement for the last year. I said, from one member of the ruling class to another, and he laughed and interrupted me and said, the ruling class? Who, what do you rule? Because I rule this theater. And I said, you do. So I'm going to put you on the spot right now and ask you to wear this Black Lives Matter wristband on the show and say Black Lives Matter at least once during the show because I think your audience needs to hear it. He responded immediately. He said, bring it to me. And then, but, he said, I make no promises to no, I make promises to no one. Huh. So he ended up wearing it. I don't know if he mentioned it on the air, though. So it, it's possible he's so, you know, rich, famous, celebrity guy, so totally out of touch, he doesn't fully understand what that represents. But here's my concern. Obviously, Stephen Colbert is a talented character. But there's also a strain of self-righteousness in his comedy. I don't think it wears... I mean, do you really want to get into this your first week on the air, diving face first well, into there are, the most the, divisive social movement in America? It, it is very divisive. There's no doubt about that. But there are a lot of supporters for this group. The problem with this group is that there are so many different factions, right? I mean, it, I don't think Stephen Colbert, at least I hope, isn't supporting the same group that says, fry like bacon, pigs in a blanket, what do we want, dead cops, what do we want right now? Or the Black Lives Matter group yesterday that we reported on down there that, uh, that attacked that one guy's truck because he had Blue Lives Matter on it. They ripped up the truck and spray painted it. Right, the veteran. Chances, chances or, are Stephen Colbert does not that, support the, that side. That makes Martin O'Malley uh, get off stage or Bernie Sanders get booed off stage. Is it that group or is it the it's group the that idea has some viable the, grievances that they feel like they need to have? It's expressed? the idea behind all the groups, and that is that you divide people on the basis of their skin color and say this one group of people's lives matter. Everybody's life matters. Right, so you can have an arm full of different wristbands for every skin color. <laughs> you know, let us know what you think about this. Friends at foxnews.com. And real quick, later in the show, we have uh, an, a guest coming on from the 2020 Leaders of America. It's 20 Republicans and 20 Democrats trying to uh, go against the Black Lives Matter group and, and try to express some of the grievances in a more peaceful way.